Hi friends, up to now we have seen all the types that are supported in the TypeScript. Now we will see the TypeScript configuration. Okay, how we can do the TypeScript configuration we will see in this video. So if you see in the previous videos, all the time what I am doing is I am changing the code and I am for example see here if I want to remove this console.log and again I need to run the TSC js slash main .ts. so all the time i am trying to run the i am trying to run this command i am i am checking the output there so uh, if, every time if i change this code like this so for example i am in the js file actually every time if i change this code okay so i need to run it again the code i need to run again the code this one so this could be a tds so if it's a single file for demo purpose means we can do but if in the long pro, uh, big projects and all those things we need to get automatic compilation so typescript provides tsc compiler provides an option for us that is nothing but a watch mode so we can watch the files so typescript compiler watch the files if any changes there is there if any changes occurred in that file automatically it will compile that one so how we can do that one is nothing but tsc space j slash main dot ts i can add hyphen hyphen watch so that it will compile so now it has entered into the watch mode so whenever i write the code and i save and if i save it automatically the file will be compiled so if i write any error of something like that for example if here user input if it is a string username is a string now what i will try to do i will try to assign user name is equal to 5 if i try to assign here i, I will get an error automatically so if i remove this one automatically it will compile and it will show you the output so now it will so automatically the file is, is went into the watch mode so that whenever the changes occurred the file automatically the types of compiler automatically compiles so you can write the command tsc hyphen hyphen watch or otherwise you can simply use hyphen w also you can use okay either either ways you can use that one hyphen hyphen watch uh, dash dash watch or otherwise single dash w also you can keep this one both the way both the syntax you can use for keeping the files in the watch mode now in this video in this uh, project if you see there is only one ts file for us so that is the reason we are mentioning tsc space js slash main.ts we are mentioning the file so for example i have another file something like what we can say another file is there uh, we can say something like uh, analytics okay i have analytics.ts file i need to include that one in the script so if i include that one in the js slash analytics dot js i will so right now analytics is not compiled but if it is compiled just js js will be coming right so we need to include that one in the here now here in this compiler we are what we are trying to do we are trying to give only the main dot ts file only if i try to compile if i try to run this command only the main dot ts file will be converted into the js file it is not considering the analytics dot ts file so in big projects and all those things uh, if in the real time projects you will be having more than one file uh, ts files will be there and all those ts files ts files we should be compiled into the js files but if you go and running each file it will be a tds job so for this reason we can uh, we can execute the multiple files also how we can do is first we need to initialize the typescript so that means tsc we have to write the command hyphen hyphen init so what is this command will do is it will create a configuration file for the typescript so the uh, the configuration the configuration file will be created which the compiler reads that config configuration before executing so when you execute this ts hyphen hyphen init a one configuration file will be created that is nothing but ts config.json okay this is the ts config.json so remember this one ts config.json so you keep it in your mind this one so we will we will see uh, all these commands you can see here the command and also the small description is there before, after the command this one so we will we will go each and everything in the next videos but i have i have told you to how to create a configuration file here tsconfig.json so after creating this one we can write just simply what we can do is tsc okay space hyphen hyphen watch you can use this directly hyphen hyphen watch or otherwise you can use hyphen w also if i write if i if i press enter here automatically it will read all the files which are present which are present in the project and also you need to remember that tsconfig.json we should be created 
uh, about the parent level of the project okay in, inside of the project we, we need to develop we should not be created inside of the subfolders or anywhere we should not create like that should be created outside of the project in the main pa parent folder of the project we should be created that one okay after after running this command ts ts hyphen hyphen watch automatically what will happen is it will read all the files which are ts files which are present in the project so here we have the ts files analytics.ts and main.ts is there so it will read this main.ts and it will convert into the js file and the same scenario ts file will be converted and it converted into the js file so it will read all the ts files present in the project and it will convert it convert into the appropriate js file now if you change anything in any of the ts files for example if i write here analytics data and if i as soon as i press the save button as soon as i save the file automatically again the compiler the compa ts compiler will uh, will be running will be running in the watch mode it will execute that one and it will again generate the analytics.js file so here if you see the js file generated as console.log analytics data is generated okay in this way we can use the we can use that uh, we can watch the multiple files and also we can compile the multiple files uh, typescript files in the project uh, with a command like this and also we, if you want to run the watch mode the command in the watch mode you can use hyphen hyphen watch and also hyphen uh, hyphen w as a short form notation okay if you try to run here the code you execute it here you'll be able to get the analytics data also you are, you'll be able to get the output okay this is how we can use the typescript compiler okay if you have any doubts or anything please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.